What if I told you everything written on this page and all the databases that were made were made by a single prompt using Claude? This is one of the most powerful tools I've seen in a while, and I've yet to be this blown away since the first time I used ChatGPT. This was made completely by Claude using the Notion MCP server, which I'll show you step by step how to set it up and start using it immediately. But with this Notion MCP connection to Claude Desktop, you'll be able to talk to Claude in plain English to create a complete project or life planning databases in seconds. It will even go as far to create data based on your actual goals with those databases to keep you on track for whatever you want to do. And it'll even give you full breakdowns of step by step what you'll need to do each week or each day to make sure you're still hitting your goals successfully. This is literally insane to me. It even gives you all the priority changes, statuses, as if you built this entire thing yourself, but you didn't spend hours trying to do it. As well as giving bigger picture goals, it also breaks it down into daily tasks. I also went a step further and set up an N8N connection to my Notion database with Pam, the personal assistant, to send me emails in the morning, letting me know what my actual daily tasks are, step-by-step -step instructions on how to get them done, and then also Ronald, the regenerator, which is an AI agent designed to regenerate my daily tasks to the next logical step after I completed my daily tasks to continue to stay on track to my goals. So we see we have an increased core strength exercise. Once we set that to completed, we can have Ronald regenerator search our main goals, what we're trying to accomplish bigger picture, write the next logical step of a goal to be able to stay on track. And you see that we now have a new goal, completed weekly mileage for endurance training for tomorrow. So to do this, we'll first need to install the MCP server into our Claude desktop. I'll first go to my community. I had a community post in there yesterday explaining exactly what I'm going over here. I'll also leave this link in the description, but here's the GitHub repo of the MCP server I'm gonna be using in this video, and it'll walk you through the setup instructions. And this is for Claude Desktop. So this will be the code snippet that we'll need to use. So we'll go ahead and copy this and head over to our Claude Desktop where we can go to the settings, and then you'll wanna to go to developer settings and edit config. And this will bring you to your Claude Desktop config file. Just the simplest way to get there. You can also go through your library you want to open this up with any text editor that you have. I'm going to open up with cursor. And in this config file, you see that I already have some MCP servers on, in my Claude desktop. And these are all the ones that I showed in a video that I'll link here, which, which I use daily. But we can just go ahead and add the code snippet that we just copied. We can say add this MCP server. We'll add it to the list. We can accept. And you'll notice that you'll need your Notion API token here, which we'll get now. So once you're in your Notion, you'll go to your account settings. You want to go to connections and then go to manage integrations. And it'll give you this new page where you can go ahead and select new integration. You can name it odd MCP or name it whatever you want. Select your workspace and you can go ahead and save. And here are the capabilities and you'll need to make sure that insert new content is selected. And then here will be your API key that you'll copy and then just paste it into your config file, replacing this text right here. Then once you do that, you'll need to completely close your Claude desktop and reopen it to have the changes come into effect. And you see, I have 21 MCP tools available. If you only have this Notion MCP, you may have like 17-ish, but you can open that and see that you have Notion MCP's commands available. Now, before we jump straight into using it, you'll need to allow pages to have access to it within Notion. So you can just create a new page, Claude, database and you'll go to these three dots in the corner go to connections and click the connection that you just made and so now you can ask claude what notion pages do you have access to and then it will ask to allow to use the mcp server it says based on the search there's a claude database page in the workspace and it appears to be empty created today so now you could go ahead and ask it to create certain databases or pages if you have a very good structured idea. We're gonna make Claude do all the heavy lifting for us. So I'm gonna open up a new chat and say, I want you to like and subscribe. Just kidding. But if you do find this content valuable and you got anything from this video, like, subscribe, it truly means a lot. Join the community below if you want any of the resources I've shared in this video, such as the innate and workflows or access to any of my other content. But for real this time, we can just say, I want you to create outline for a Notion workspace, help plan and 
connects my life. And pro tip here, I have been going back and forth with using Claude and ChatGPT whenever making these Notion databases. I think using OpenAI's O1 to get the entire Notion outline for the workspace that you want to build and pasting that into Claude saying build this workspace for me has worked the best for me. But for simplicity purposes, to keep it all in Claude for the video, that's what we'll do here. We have two main goals, building and made in to, let's say, scrape the web and to run a marathon. That's definitely not an actual goal of mine, but I think it'll be fun for this video. Outline the pages and databases necessary to stay on track and the contents within them. And let's just keep it simple at that and see how good it does. And we'll turn on extended thinking for this and go ahead and send it. And it's writing a ton of data. So this will be interesting to show. So we have monthly repository integration links, and we'll just copy this entire thing. And I'm going to open up a new chat and say, you have access to a notion page called Claude. MCP available and all the content and databases. And I'll paste that entire outline in there. And once again, I'll turn on extended thinking and send it. And it will ask us for all these MCP approvals. And it will go down the list of creating the entire content for this page and see that it already changed the title. We have a ton of database. We have a ton of information here already. We have now a new goals database, and now it's establishing a relationships between our databases, which is really cool to me. And you see that it just ran successfully, and it did a bunch of actions, database content, and it created all these databases, but they are actually empty. And that really drives home the importance of the instructions that you're going to give it. And that's why I've kind of found it's easier to go to ChatGPT and use 01 to get a full list of instructions with content that it's supposed to be putting in there. Let's see if we can copy this and say, based on my goals, please fill out all of these databases with content and paste the databases in there and see if this works. You'll see it's trying to call the create database item. So I sped you up there, but it just finished and it did a ton of stuff just based on that one single prompt. Let's see into our databases. And we have all the content in the entire database populated with categories. We have project, fitness, personal, priorities, statuses, what our progress is, and our target dates. This is just insane to me. We can change it to wrap to see all of our notes. We can go to projects database. And yes, all of these databases are filled. And we even have our tasks. Now let's jump into how I connected the innate in to truly make this Notion database useful and to enhance it just by that much more. So I'm going to hop back to the original just to save some time of this video. But you see that I have overall goals here of marathon training, which has some content in it on what we're trying to achieve. And then I have daily tasks here. So first I wanted to be able to wake up every morning and have a set of tasks and instructions sent to me that I can look at in the mornings. So I'm not spending an hour of my morning figuring out what I'm gonna do that day. So first I have Pam, the personal assistant, which is scheduled to run every day at 7 a.m., which is going to get all those daily tasks. And then it's gonna send it to the AI agent, which is going to get the daily tasks. And it's a simple prompt of saying, you're my personal assistant, helping me to achieve all my goals and stay on track. And it has access to the goals database, which is the overall goals and projects, which I showed. So it's going to write all my instructions based on the bigger picture goals that I have to actually give it some context. And then I have a code node here, which I'll go ahead and run this workload to have a better idea of what it's doing. So it's searching the database based on the given daily tasks, formulating an email and set of instructions for those daily tasks. And you notice that we have four daily items returning from the task. So it's going to return four items. And so this code node will Combine those into one to be able to send one big email and then also structure it a little bit better. So you see that we get this entire email here, which is four separate outputs. And we have one item here, one central message for a subject in an HTML email body. 
and the HTML is just a little bit of styling for the email. So if I open up my phone, I can see that I have my daily tasks that were just sent to me to my email and it sends Notion links to my actual training plans and bigger picture goals and a step-by-step -step of what my goals actually are. And lastly, I just input these fields and structure the email to be sent and also put a little expression here to show the current day. And then lastly, Ronald the Regenerator. I wanted something to help with the upkeep of this entire database. I wanted to have a way that I didn't have to keep updating daily tasks based on my goals. We see we can change this to completed and we can run this Regenerator, test this to see how it structures it. And you see that we now have a new goal, completed weekly mileage for endurance training for tomorrow, day three, it changed the status back to not started and it gave us new notes. So how I was able to do that was, this is on a schedule trigger as well. You could also do a notion trigger for an update on the database. We'll essentially do the same thing and you can filter by if it's completed in progress or not started yet. And I did it with a schedule trigger as I just wanted it to run at the end of the day because hopefully I will have multiple goals completed at the end of the day. And then it will get that task list at the end of every night. And it's just filtered by status equaling completed. So we only have one completed here which is the increase endurance training. And then it will go to our AI agent, which is simply prompted, you're my personal assistant, help helping me to achieve all my goals. And that it will use the search goals tool to get my overall goals and write new daily tasks in a logical next step order to achieve my goals. And it's still not perfect, but this is a quick solution that I came up with. Eventually outputs a new task based on our overall goals that it searched. And then this code node will just parse those and give them variable names to be able to drag and drop into columns to update that record. And so this Notion database will be updating that current record to a new one. So if this three mile easy run is completed, it will update this one. And I did that to make sure that I didn't have a huge long list of daily tasks as Pan the personal assistant is pulling from this daily task list. So I wanted to keep it concise, but it will get the ID from the completed task node for whichever record ID was marked completed. And then it will just update based on the new output AI agent came up with. And I have this status as hard coded as not started. And that's it guys for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this video as I really think this Notion MCP with Claude can make a huge difference on any project or any goals that you're setting out to achieve and cut down on the time it takes just to set up a new project. So if you like this content, like, subscribe, join the community below if you want any of these Notion templates. And until then, see you guys.